Leap Motor have just revealed their B05 electric hatchback, and I think this will have a significant impact on Buoy Dolphin and MG4 EV sales because this thing looks fantastic. It's got really good range. The price is extremely competitive, and um, well, it's uh, it's a legitimate, decent, all around good. And it's an all around great looking package, I think. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking Leap Motor. You can now buy the B05 or the B05. Pre sales are open right now. It will be known in China as the LAFA 5 and outside of China, the B05. It's got to come to many, many different countries around the world. I mean, they've already given it a non Chinese name. Our Leap Motor is obviously selling cars in, I believe, 30 different countries. And it's priced similarly to the MG4 and the Buddy Dolphin, but it's a bit bigger than the Dolphin. And I think it looks a bit better than both of those options that I just mentioned. Price in China, $14,850 US dollars. That's the base model. The most expensive version is $18,000 US dollars. But there's five different versions. Apparently, if you order now, you get a $2,000 discount worth of incentives and stuff. Anyhow, that's for China, of course. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Let's look at the specs. The base model is rear-wheel drive. In fact, they're all rear-wheel drive, which is, in my opinion, a positive. MG4's rear-wheel drive as well. BOD Dolphin's front-wheel drive. Base model gets a 56 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery with 515 kilometers of CLTC range. So that'll be about probably 400 kilometers of WLTP range. That's 14,850. The mid spec, it's called, it's called mid, is single rear motor, 67 kilowatt hour battery, and 605 kilometers of CLTC range. So probably about 465, maybe 470 kilometers of range, WLTP. So good range for that model. 16,000, 16,000 US dollars. So that's about, about 23,000, 23,500 Australian dollars. That's a very good price. In terms of euros, that's about 15,000 euros. The high, it's called the high, is a 67 kilowatt battery, gets LiDAR. Yeah, and then you pay an extra 1,100 US dollars to get LiDAR. But of, of course, as well, with that LiDAR, you're getting a better self driving experience. The premium version, uh, same stuff. It's got ultra trim. It's got the LiDAR as well. And it's got a few extra specs. So that's 18,500 US dollars. How big is this vehicle? Well, it's 4.4 meters long. Uh, very similar size to the MG4. In fact, it's just slightly bigger than an MG4. You also get, as you can see, split LED lighting, frameless doors, a roof spoiler that complements the look of the vehicle. I think it looks fantastic. It's the best designed electric hatchback that, on the market, period. You know, in this segment anyway. There's some pretty cool vehicles from Renault as well, but this is, in my opinion, the best in this segment. The rear, it's got a LED tail light strip with the Leap Motor script positioned in the center, which also I think looks good. There's six different paint choices. There is electric yellow, wind gray, starry blue, Morgan pink, galaxy silver, and metallic black. And... On the inside, you've got an 8.8 an 8.8 inch screen right in front of the driver. There's a 14.6 inch 2.5K touchscreen. There's the Leap Motor OS 4.0 Plus um, operating system, which is significantly improved over the past 12 months. It uses Qualcomm's 8295P chipset, and it's also got dual AI assistance using DeepSeek and another um, AI assistant in China. I don't know if those will come to other markets outside of China. There's a 12 speaker leap motor sound system, a panoramic roof, a 256 color ambient lighting system as well. And the front seats have ventilation and heating. Passenger side offers a magic expansion island console with wireless charging and modular storage. Power, okay, the base model gets 132 kilowatt of power. 
The high spec models get 160 kilowatt. Top speed is 170 kilometers an hour. Performance for the model with 160 kilowatt, which I believe the top three models get that, is 0 and 100, 6.4 seconds. So it's not bad. I mean, that's considered hot hatch territory, 6.4 seconds, 0 and 100. I think it's actually a pretty good car. I'm impressed. Electric car. Resync Solar is the company that I used. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Anyway, the two battery packs, like I said, 56 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery in the base model, but the three higher spec models, which don't cost much more, get that 67 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery. Charge Charging speed is, I believe it's about 170 kilowatt DC. So charging 30 to 80%, 18 minutes. I hate the 30 to 80%. Sorry guys, I don't have a 10 to 80% number. Higher trim versions get, like I said, lighter on the roof plus an 8650 Qualcomm chip offering 200 tops of computing power, which is pretty good. There's 27 sensors on the high spec versions with LiDAR for advanced driver assistance features. And apparently the Ultra variant gets a sporty exterior body kit, a larger spoilers, which don't make it go any faster. It just looks cooler, I guess, for some people, but also exclusive matte paint, which does look cool. And that one's coming out in mid-2026. Guys, don't you get the feeling like this is the car that Volkswagen Group should have made? Like, this is this is what the Volkswagen Golf probably should look like. But um, the Golf is dying. Sales of the Volkswagen Golf are going down. It's um used to be the best-selling car in Europe. But I reckon if Volkswagen brought this out and was like, hey, guys, this is the updated Golf. It's really good. Uh, it starts at a price of 14000 US dollars. <laughs> And, you know, you can get the performance version for an extra 2,000. Uh, this is a 67 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery. Again, you're giving you about 470 kilometers of range and it costs the same as the existing Volkswagen Golf. That'd be it. Maybe that could end up being the best selling car in the world at that kind of price level if they could offer it at that price level, but they can't. And that's the amazing thing here. Leap Motor can sell this vehicle and make a profit. This company makes a profit. I mean, these guys are doing so well. They sold 70,000 cars last month in the month of October. So full credit to them. Would I personally buy Elite Motor? Um, to be honest, probably not. Uh, it's just not in my, my target market. The cars for me just don't have that kind of wow factor and that real standout factor. And I'm not in that market for a, a hatchback. But I think if you're in the hatchback market, um, this is the one to get. It will be the one to get. I think it's better than a Dolphin, better than an MG4 um, overall as a, an overall total package. And I think it's going to sell really well. Let me know what you think though, guys, in the comments. Thanks for watching.